And now we're gonna look here the last move, rook a b8. Very interesting move played by Mamediarov against Arunian in 2018 in St. Louis Rapid. The idea of rook a b8 is that after knight e5, black want to immediately go to b5. They want to give this uh, bishop, and after knight g4, knight g4, they attack here on h2, and if some move g3, they immediately go to b4 and crush here our queen side. After knight e5, b5, Arnion here played bishop b5, a6 and sacrificed his queen and got two pieces against it, rook b3, a b3, he has um, rook and rook knight and pawn, the next move is coming b4, rook a, a1, there is really strong compensation, but the position is around equal and the game really finished the draw. Uh, rook a b8, uh, we thought that this is a strong move, even our team member GM Sam played in India in 2018, just this rook a b8 move, he won, but when we were analyzing his game, we found here for white something very very strong. After knight e5, b5, there is a very strong move, queen c2. Queen c2, idea is that now we want to take the h7 pawn <laughs> so if some move like b4 we just take a free pawn bishop h7 knight h7 and uh, take this bishop after queen c2 if black plays bishop h5 avoiding this bishop h7 now we play a strong move a3 uh, we stop opponent b4 move and when black plays a5 and again wanting to play b4, here we have a strong move knight b3. What's the idea is that after b4, now we have knight c6, queen c6, knight a5, attacking the queen, and next move taking the b4 pawn, and we are two pawn up. And after knight b3, if black plays a4, then just knight c5, and uh, all attack in queen side of black stop because b4 will never be possible because of our two pawns here, and also we gain here a very strong knight on c5. After knight b3, if black plays here rook fc8, then we just take our opponent pawn, pawn <laughs> sorry, pawn, knight c6, rook c6, take, and just pawn up. And uh, a5 pawn is not just a pawn, it's a very important pawn. After we gain this pawn now, black will never have uh, this b4 move. So next move we go back knight b3, and we can start our attack uh, with uh, rook e3, and then maybe f4, knight can come back already to d2 or c5, which uh, just pawn up and very strong position. After bishop h5, a3, uh, this was a5 move. Uh, yeah, a5, knight b3, and there is no way to protect this a5 pawn. If queen uh, c7, then just knight c6, queen c6, and we take the pawn. And um, rook a8, also not possible to protect it because now b5 pawn is hanging. So after knight b3, we force black to play a4, and then after knight c5, everything there stopped for black before will never be possible. After bishop h5, a3, if black played rook fc8, then now knight d4 is coming yeah uh, we should be careful here we do knight b3 this is again strong move and everything again stop for black because a5 move again not possible just knight c6 and then next move we take the a5 pawn and there is no way for black to do a5 move any any in any position so queen c2 move was a multi-functional multi-functional move first we want to take the bishop the pawn on h7 and again uh, just free pawn and also we want to play knight b3 stopping here a5 move and all the black uh, attack in queen side after queen c2 uh, we looked here yeah before we looked at bishop h5 after queen c2 the best move here for black is rook fc8 what's the idea after bishop h7 knight h7 knight g4 black have knight d4 move so after rook fc8 we don't take h7 pawn but instead we continue uh, our plan with knight b3 knight b3 knight is staying on b3 very strong he protected the d4 pawn so nowhere knight d4 will be possible because of we just take with knight and also knight on b3 is playing very good against a5 so now again a5 move is not possible we just um, take the pawn a5 just take knight c6 and next move uh, knight a5 
So after knight b3, what to do for black? If before, now again we have this bishop h7 move. Bishop h7, knight h7, knight g4, and now knight d4 not possible because our knight on b3 we just take it with knight. After knight b3, now uh, when bishop h7 is hanging, if black plays bishop h5, then again same thing. We play a3. We stop this uh, b4 move. Um, if now a5, again we take the pawn, knight c6, and then take the pawn on a5. If uh, b4 now, then we take the knight, knight c6, rook c6, a b4, we take the pawn, rook b4. Now, instead of taking opponents to two rooks uh, and taking cb4 and um, giving a pawn, we have a strong move here after rook b4, we go knight c5. Knight is staying on c5 very strong, he's just monster there, monster there. Now we want to take the opponent rook. And when uh, rook go back, we play just b4. Our knight on c5 is super strong, next move is coming rook a1. And a7 pawn now is very very weak. And we have very big advantage. So after a3, this is both, both move a5 and b4 are not good for black. Um, and now if black plays some move like bishop g6, we can take it with both, with bishop is fine, with knight is fine too, to take the g6, however I think with knight is better. Uh, why? Because uh, bishop on d3 is very very strong, as you have seen in many many positions. We just play here queen e2 move, attacking the b5 pawn. And also running against this line on rook c8, so now b4 was coming already. Um, so queen e2, now b4 not possible, b5 uh, pawn now is hanging. Mm. Now with a5, uh, we just take the pawn on b5, bishop b5, and after knight a7 we have a good move here, bishop a4. Bishop is staying there strange, but everything is protected, and we are just pawn up. Next move is coming again, knight c5, b4. If after queen e2, instead of a5, black plays a6 and protects their b5 pawn, uh, then we just continue f4. Uh, we continue our attack, next move can be g4 or rook f3, and most important, black cannot move here. b4 move is not possible, a5 move is not possible also because b5 pawn is hanging. And also our knight on b3 is staying very strong, he protect against a5, and all the time he is ready to jump on c5. We can go or we can stay here and go to the uh, exact right moment. And also we keep our bishop on d3, which helps uh, here against this a5 before, and also he will help in attack when we go through g4. Uh, so it was after um, rook fc8, knight b3, bishop h5 move. Bishop h5, we play just a3. After knight b3, there is a move knight b4. Uh, but uh, here there is another strong thing is coming. Instead of playing here queen d2 and giving our strong bishop on d3, after knight b4 we have strong move here, bishop h7. Here is the idea of that queen c2 strong move. Bishop h7 and after knight h7 we play just queen d2. And now before knight and g4 bishop is hanging. So we take one of them. Uh, now, if uh, knight a2, uh, taking our pawn on a2, knight g4, and despite of the fact that now the pawns are equal, uh, black has big problems with their knight on a2, he's almost trapped, now he's coming knight c5 and b4, and if black themselves plays b4, it doesn't help them, just knight c5, and after bc3, bc3, uh, the knight is trapped there, so we gain it, and with the winning position. It was knight a2 move, just knight g4 and he's trapped there. The best try here for black is bishop f5 move. The idea of bishop f5 is that after cb4, black want to play rook c2. And now we play queen e3. Black can take both pawn, b2 with rook b2 or b4 pawn with queen b4. But both are not good for them. If uh, queen b4, now we have g4 very strong move. And black bishop on f5 has problem. If bishop g6, then we take it. And after we take the e6 pawn, and also we take the d5 pawn. If after g4, bishop e4, then f3. And anyway, he should go to g6. And again we take, and queen e6 with the winning the game. It was queen b4 move. 
So queen b4, just g4. Uh, best probably is rook b2 move now, but we have knight c5 strong move, knight on c5 is just a monster, and uh, black now can take both of pawn b4 and a2, but again it's not, not, not so much for them. If they take the b4 pawn, then queen d2 move and suddenly rook on b4 is trapped, just a5, a3 and no place for rook. If uh, instead of rook b4, they play rook a2, then rook a1, just rook a1, there are also many other moves uh, like g4 here immediately and with similar ideas when we look the queen b4 line, but uh, the strongest here just rook a1 move, rook a1, rook a1, and we have not just a strong compensation against pawn because of our strong knights on c5 and e5, but also opponent cannot protect this a5, a7 pawn comfortably. Uh, because queen c7 is not possible, knight a8, uh, queen e7 is not possible, knight c6, and if black protected a7 pawn just passively with rook a8, now um, despite of the fact that we can just go rook a6, queen a3 with very strong compensation and with big advantage, but we can immediately crush, crush the opponent's position with g4 move again, g4, bishop g6 we can take, and now rook a6, rook is coming, taking the e6 pawn, then g6 is hanging, knight on c5 is very strong, a7 pawn is very weak, and it's almost lost position for black. It was rook a2 move, we just take uh, rook a1. And uh, if black don't take any of our pawn and play knight f6, they bring to the game their knight on h7, just queen a3, protecting the both of pawn, a2 and b4, and after rook c2, just rook c1, rook c1, rook c1, and we have a very strong position because of our knight on c5, knight on e5, and we have very, very big advantage. So, uh, after rook a b8, uh, Mohamed Yarov's move, we have this knight e5, b5, queen c2, very, very strong move with idea, bishop h7, and with knight b3 stopping the all uh, attacking chances for black with b4 and a5 anywhere. This is here is the only line where there is some variations that you should remember, but there are very easy and very logical um, and good thing anytime you forget them, just come back, look this, and also you can download the PGN file and look them whenever you forget it.